Andy, when I arrived in Australia and started reading and hearing all those great things about you, I thought you were dead. <laughs> it's funny how the media who once labeled you a born in Boris Scott now regard you as one of the greatest British athletes of all time. <laughs> Life as a tennis player has not been a smooth ride for you. People saw in your suffering something they could relate to, and in your victories, a reason to hope. If Federer, who makes everything look easy, is the undisputed God, then you're more like Jesus, who has to endure all the pain and suffering so that we can feel better about ourselves. <laughs> Andy, in a lot of ways, we're like kindred spirits. We both use anger as a magic fuel during matches. And we both spent a fair amount of time yelling at Yvonne Landel, me from the other side of the net, and you from the court when he was your coach. <laughs> if you want to keep doing that, the swearing, the profanities, come join us on the Seniors Tour. We've been doing it for years, and we even get paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> the self-appointed commissioner of tennis would be honored to share a court with you. Thanks, mate.